Got the bike loaded up. About to head up north. Go check out the storage container. Talk to that guy. Get that figured out. And then go ride dirt bikes. Yeet. Well, just uh, came back up here. Gave Mo four grand out of the six. And he is delivering that baby on Wednesday. That's a nine and a half foot height. That's the tall boy. The big daddy. There is a little bit of rust right there. But, uh. Yeah, those are shorter ones. This is the tall guy. Not bad. So when we're getting empty lift only. A couple little dents on it. Buff it out. Chester's super antsy to get to the land. He's been mowing my head off. Oh, well, made it back. I actually returned the lawnmower this morning. Apparently, the Honda lawnmower had a recall on it. So maybe it wasn't me that fucked it up. Um... Made me feel a little better. So they gave me a full refund. I didn't have room to buy a lawnmower because I had to buy this. But now I got a wheelbarrow. That's pretty sweet. It's like 140 bones. Need some metal. It's already got some gashes. I got 10 bucks off because of the rust spots. We'll fucking paint right over that. My dad and family friend Loesch and his wife are coming to check this place out in a sec. And Wyatt will be following soon thereafter. And on Wednesday next week, we will have a storage container. Oh, baby! It's going to be at a weird angle, but we'll get it all dialed in. That is a swamp. I'm going to need to get Mark to help with that. To gravel and stuff? Oh, yeah, you did a good job. Yeah? When's the last time you were in here? Uh, I don't know, a couple, probably a couple months. It's just as dirt bag as ever. Oh, it's nice. It's cozy to camp in. What's that? It's cozy to camp in with your buddies. So that's uh, that's east. That's direct. That's east that way. Mm -hmm. Oh, no kidding. Oh, this is west. Yep. Yeah. A little disoriented. It is a little disoriented. Yeah, come on in. I got all kinds of beverages. What do you need? Water. Yeah, I can't promise that it's ice cold, but I got waters. Fresh waters. What else? What else you got? This is the party trailer. This is actually kind of cool, man. <laughs> it's fucking awesome. We get all fucked up in here and <laughs> talk shit and be dumb. Fart. Here's a water for you. Yeah, take it all in. Well, it's light sprinkle outside. Tester's got a new feeding station over here. He's got his water, his kibbles, and his wet food. You're a happy dude, huh? Yeah. Let's see what it looks like out right here. Yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be beautiful, but today was beautiful. I was hoping why and I could get a dirt bike ride. Hopefully we still can. I don't want to go rip. Oh, oh, look who it is. How you doing, huh? Enjoying the rain? You a good boy. You a good boy. Oh, you a good boy. Oh, the heavy purrs. Oh, he's so handsome. Yes. You waiting for Wyatt, Uncle Wyatt? And is Mark coming to get some money for his excavations? Electric on the side. It's the only electric thing about it. Yeah, and that light. We're going to go mud dogging. It is greasy. We're going to be covered in mud when we come back. You're good. No, you're good. You're good.
bad view. Good? Yep, this is my personal spot. For a second, I was like, who the fuck came down here and are. It's like a jungle down here. For a second, I was like, who the fuck raked this? And then I realized it's the water. First time you've been down since yeah, and first time on the bike down here. Win. Cannot wait to make some trails back down through here. Yeah. Gonna make some good loops with some gnarly hill climbs. Because on this side you can put some steep hill climbs. Yeah. Fuck that. Yeah, we're out here. Personal friggin river spot. I got to figure out where I want to like clear it like this right here But then that'd make the riverbank fall if I cut those trees But I want like a nice spot to chill yeah, where 
where the sun hits it, man. Yeah, the sun's usually over there, so it could make it on the other side, like a little riverbed rock. I'm so bummed. Yeah, sorry, that sucks. Oh, I'm just more bummed that we can't ride tomorrow. Yeah. Well, I'll just have to learn how to change a clutch, clutch casing or clutch. I don't, I don't imagine it's that hard. This old Richard's old well on the back side of the pond. I'm trying. I'm damn it. Well, we went for a dirt bike ride and I almost blew my clutch out. She needs some labor of love. There she is, the old redneck paradise. Storm's rolling in, but Chester doesn't care. He's soaking it all up. Look at that tail. Yeah, we're burning her. Burn, burn, burn. The little mushroom children. <laughs> Down. Whipping up the danks in here. Dang ultimate beef rat ramen. Some nice seasoned ground beef from a local farm. About to hit the Blackstone. Whipping up the dankies right here. Beef on beef. It's got the headlamp on. All business. Got the GoPro Jaws clamp with the little mini light right here for maximum grill potential. Yeah. Chester's sleeping. He's had a good day. He killed a couple of rats. He brought one in for us. Well, beautiful morning. Doing a little reorg in here. Getting shit cleaned up. Organized. Um, yeah, getting everything reorganized. Nice, beautiful morning out. I used the EcoFlow River Pro 2 last night to keep the laptop going. And now we've got her charging. Got the panel right there. Got an extension. And I've got it coming through a hole. And it says, come on, the sun is fucking me up, mate. There we go. It's at 73%, two hours to charge. And it is taking in 70 watts, which is not much, but it's better than nothing. Well, 
had a great little weekend. Didn't get to ride as many dirt bike trails as I wanted because it blew the clutch out on my bike in the sand pit. But overall, good weekend. It has been very rainy and there is a lot of leaks. All these buckets are collecting water. This trailer is kind of a lost cause. I don't want to put too much effort into preserving it, but I also will be staying in here through next winter. So this week I'm probably going to either use Flex Seal or some roofing tar and fix the top of the roof so these leaks are a thing of the past. And then hopefully all this insulation will dry out over the course of the rest of the summer. Yeah, you can hear the rain. Chester's nice and cozy. It's freaking cozy in here, I'll tell you that much. I camping in here during a rainstorm knowing you could be in a tent or in the back of my little claustrophobic truck. Well, hello there. It seems that you made it to the end of my video. I appreciate you greatly for watching. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Chester says thanks and hi, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.